Carl Bynant's one of the all-time great racehorses, won the Melbourne Cup in 1890 against a field of 39 competitors carrying 66 kilograms and with a split heel, just one of the absolute greats of all time. To put the skeleton together will take about three hours and it will take a team of three conservators working very hard to get all the bones in the right place which of course is pretty important. The skeleton is actually owned by Museum Victoria and it's on loan to us here for our new gallery. We're very grateful to them for their assistance. It's been in their collection since 1920 and um, we're just delighted to be able to have it on loan for this period. On one side of the showcase where Carbine is we have a, a multimedia presentation where visitors can see a horse galloping and see the, the physiology, the heartbeats and then at the end of the show it clears and you can see the skeleton in all its glory. It's a beautiful production. We hope the exhibition will appeal to everybody. Um, it's a chance to get up close with uh, the body of a racehorse so for people who are an expert in the field or have no knowledge of horses to get this close to a champion racehorse and to see this exhibition will be fantastic. So Carbine is actually as good a racehorse, if not better perhaps, than Farlap. Uh, racing also in an economic depression in the 1890s, uh, where he was so important to everybody. And actually um, Farlap was an offspring related to Carbine. So there's lots in common between the two horses. So the Champions exhibition here at the National Sports Museum, we hope will appeal to everybody. Um, the visitor who comes to see all of our galleries will get a sense of, and a taste of horse racing. And also the expert can come in and see all the great champions and relive some fantastic memories.